Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. When working with numerical data in PowerPoint, sometimes a chart is just what you need to show the meaning behind the numbers. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the different types of charts, and also some ways that you can customize them to best represent your data. Column charts are good all-around charts. They work with many different types of data. Whereas line charts are best for showing trends over time. Pie charts are unique because they let you see your data in proportion instead of on a graph. We also have the bar chart, which is basically just a column chart turned on its side. And finally, area charts, which are similar to line charts, except the areas under the lines are filled in. To create a chart, go to the Insert tab, then click the Chart command, and a list of choices will appear. I think I'll start with something in the Column category. This one looks nice and simple. Click OK, and then something interesting happens. PowerPoint will open a spreadsheet, similar to what you'll find in Excel, where you can start entering your data. All you have to do is type your information over the placeholder text, and PowerPoint will update the chart in your presentation. Now we just need to fill in our sales figures. We are going to be covering the last five months, January to May. Anything you want to include in your chart has to be inside this little blue box. But don't worry, it'll expand automatically as you type. Next, to save some time, we're going to copy and paste the rest of the data from an existing worksheet in Excel. This option is great if you already have your data recorded elsewhere. All you have to do is go to the worksheet in Excel and copy the data you want to use. Next, go back to your presentation and paste it here by pressing Ctrl-V on your keyboard. And PowerPoint will update the chart automatically. When you're done, click the X to close the spreadsheet window. You can also give your chart a title if you want. To go back to the chart and make any changes or corrections, click the Edit Data command on the Design tab, and the window will open again. Charts are designed to help you illustrate your point, just like the illustrations in a book. Therefore, things like color, layout, and chart type really do matter. For example, right now the columns are grouped by genre, but I'm more interested in taking a look at trends over time. That means we need to group the data by month instead. Luckily, we don't have to start over. Just make sure you have the Edit Data window open. Then, click the chart to select it. Next, click the command that says Switch Row Column. And that's all it takes. See how the chart has been rearranged? Basically, the months and the genres have switched places. You can always experiment with this to see which option is going to work best. If you want to try a different chart altogether, click the Change Chart Type command on the far right of the tab. Then, pick something else from the dialog box. I think I'll go with a line chart this time. If you want, you can change the chart style to give your chart a different look. As you can see, you have several different options to choose from. You can also change the chart layout itself. Just go to the Quick Layout command and make a selection from the menu. Not all of these options will work for the data you're working with. Just keep going until you find something you like. Why don't we go with something like this? You can make further adjustments using the Chart Elements shortcut. It's the one with the plus sign. Here you can add or remove elements from your chart, depending on your preferences. Or you can click the arrow to the right to access even more options. Charts are a great choice for presenting numerical data in PowerPoint, and also enhancing your presentations. With so many design options to choose from, you can achieve exactly the look you want.